We're going to try a two-dimensional polar plot using the plot commands in, in WX Maxima, actually. And so we'll start with this document right here, and we go into the plot, plot2d. The expression I want to plot is 5 times 1 minus the cosine of theta. I'm going to use t for theta. Now, the variables x and y here represent the extent of, of the graph, right? And what we will determine that the, the, the plot is a polar plot, it's this option at the very last one that says set polar, set zero axis. Now, when that changes, uh, when that is set, you get this pH here and from zero to two pi. That it's the uh, the angle phi simplified, but I'm using t, so I'm going to change that to t, and let's see what we get with this. Well, we get something, but not what I want. And what's happening here is that, indeed, the I'm going to enlarge this a little bit. The angle t or theta, it's going from 0 to 2 pi, and y has been specified from minus 1 to 5, but x, has, x hasn't been specified because it got replaced by theta, and so what we're going to do is add here x from minus 5 to 5, and make sure that there's a comma after the, parenthesis, the bracket right there, and I think that will do the trick if I do shift enter here, a, nope, it didn't do it. I'm going to try minus 10, 10, and y, minus 10 to 10. That's it. That did the trick. Uh, there's another space for the, uh, for the cardioid to develop. You may want to change those, um, the x-axis to, like, say, minus 12, to four, perhaps, and why? Maybe we need. We just need to go from like minus eight to eight, and now we do shift enter. And it didn't work out that well. So we just have to try that. You know, from minus ten to ten it was working okay. Um, I'm going to try minus 10 to 4, no, well that's better, minus 10 to 10, and why, well I guess we're going to have to go from minus 10 to 10, and so you, in this case you have to do some trial and error till you get the results that you want. I'm going to try another one, and for that purpose, I'm just going to copy this. Control V, and let's say, uh, now we're going to raise this to the square, and keep everything else as it is. Well, that's plenty of graph for that purpose, and it shows the graph that I wanted to show. Let's try just one more graphic. By the way, if um, if you wanted to plot two graphics in the same location, say I'm going to copy this. Control C, and I'm going to put a comma right here to the right of the parenthesis. Control V. I think this is going to work. The shift enter, and indeed. These are the expressions for the two graphics that have, been, that have been plotted. But again, it seems that, well, you know, besides the angle going from 0 to 2 pi, which is what we typically expect, we also need to specify a symmetric range like that. And so, so keep that in mind when doing this uh, type of um, uh, graphics. I'm going to try one more here. I'm going to add, I'm going I'm to press enter here to move this, this command to the next line. And I'm going to try one more, which is going to be, let's say, T, simply the variable T, that, that should be a spiral. And indeed, there's the spiral right there going on. If we want to see more than that, we could go for like 
let's say 6 pi shift enter and that give you more a little bit more of the spiral so that's uh I, that's something that were that I was left over from the previous videos on graphic and two dimensional graphics